cheap eBay pistol golf ball launcher. Go ahead and put the golf ball in. Now look at that, it doesn't come out until you shoot it out. We're using some ram set number four here, as in four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that just bounced into the trees. I guess a general idea of how far that went. About 140 yards with the cheap eBay pistol golf ball launcher. Using some whoop, good old Ram set number four uh, blanks. So I've already taken a few shots off camera with this. Um, and I gotta say, <laughs> This is one of the most fun that you can have playing with yourself, with your guns, I mean, with, with your guns. Now this is going to be mostly a testing video. Uh, besides this M&P 22 that I brought out, I also brought out an M&P 1522 uh, to, to see what kind of range we can get from a rifle length uh, barrel. And, and because this, they say, is rated for a 9mm, I brought out some uh, not, uh, a 9mm with some blanks as well. So we'll kind of work our way up and see if we're successful with those, with any, maybe this is the only one. And besides just shooting this thing around, uh, I also went on a bit of a Walmart shopping spree and uh, brought out some targets to shoot with a, a golf ball to see what kind of damage a golf ball can cause to uh, various objects. I went to go retrieve the golf ball after a little bit of a search, I found it. Um, the cool thing is that these are actually multiple use. I've already shot this one twice. You can kind of see. Hopefully it'll focus enough. But there's two shots right here. And uh, you could probably use this over and over and over again as long as you can find it. I didn't think that it would actually go 150 yards. Um, well, 140, but I'm sure if I shot it at more of an arc. It would probably go about 150, maybe even 200 yards. So I think we're going to need to uh, change our filming location because I can't get more than about 150 yards before I lose these in the tree line. So let's go and set back up. So to load it, it's actually pretty uh, simple. You can load it straight into the magazine like this. I haven't tried loading more than one because there's really no need to, but it does chamber actually first. Gonna put this in. It's so cool, <laughs> it doesn't come out unless you really smack it to get it out. But this is actually the same uh, golf ball I've already launched twice, so this will be the third time launching the same golf ball. And we'll just go ahead and rack it like you normally would, and you're ready to go. Go and get some ears on here. There's not a lot of sound that comes out of this uh, compared to a normal. 22 but just in case you always want to have hearing protection eye protection all right so I'm just gonna launch it see what happens <laughs> I didn't quite see where that went but I have an idea Yep, about 150 yards. That might be the uh, max distance, but I want to try it one more time, and I'm really going to arc it to see if we can get at least uh, close to the top of that, the crest of the hill in the background. I got another one loaded up. This one, <laughs> the last shot, didn't actually extract, so we're going to manually extract it here, which isn't too hard to do. There we go. Usually they do extract by themselves from what I've seen. That was actually the first time it didn't extract by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and load this golf ball up. It's so cool that it doesn't come out. And uh, chamber around. Now I'm gonna stand over on this side this time. So hopefully you guys can sort of see. I'm gonna aim pretty high too. All right, They're like up here. Oh my god. 
Oh, I see it. I do see it. That might have been 200 yards. <laughs> yeah, about 193 yards. Holy cow. Watching a golf ball with a pistol. With a 22 nonetheless. That's pretty cool. So one of the reasons why it's probably not extracting is because it's dirty. <laughs> Those blanks are definitely dirty because you're just launching unburnt gunpowder probably into your barrel. So um, I'm going to go and pull this boar snake through here. All right. Let's see if that makes a difference. And always make sure you come prepared. I'm going to go and blow out the uh, extractor. Just really clean things up in there. So let's go and do one more. And this is also another used uh, golf ball that I'm reusing. I love that you can do that. I got another number four loaded up in here. And I'm gonna aim even higher this time. See if we can really get some distance. I saw it. It went about the same distance, but here's the real test from all the cleaning. Will it extract? Hey, <laughs> it did extract. All right, so we've got probably a base distance down with a pistol, about 200 yards. It's really about 190, but we're gonna move up to a rifle and see if we can get even more distance out of this uh, golf ball launcher. Snug that down. All right. So we got here an MP1522. Uh, I gotta say, that actually looks really cool. <laughs> Especially uh, with this tan color that I got. It really matches the uh, rifle pretty well. But let's go and load it up uh, also with the number four here. Which I've got right here. All right. Cool. Don't stick the golf ball in. Not coming out. Nice. All right. Let's go and chamber this sucker. Hey. All right. So here we go. Is it going to be further? than the pistol I mean my guess is probably because you know with the longer barrel you're building up more velocity and stuff so let's give it a try well I have been surprised <laughs> that didn't go nearly as far as the pistol for some reason it launched it. Oop. There we go. It definitely launched it. That extracted that time too. Um, but I think it only went about 110 yards, maybe 120 at the most. So that surprised me. I thought with the uh, rifle length barrel that it was definitely going to get a lot more uh, range out of it. I want to try it again. That might have been a fluke. So let's do one more. Load it up again. And, yeah, let's do the golf ball first, then load the round. As the sun's coming out, see if we can get a little more range this time. Nope. That was about 110, 120 yards again. Very surprising. Also just want to point out the fact that I'm using number four RAM set. I'm, they make a num number five, which I'm definitely gonna try sometime. <laughs> I got the number three RAM set and the number four, and uh, I shot a couple of the number threes, and when I put the number four in there, uh, it was quite obvious that I didn't need to go back down to the number threes. The number four, I'd say, is where it's at, but I do want to try the number five RAM set. And next up, 
we're gonna go ahead and shoot a golf ball from a nine millimeter blank out of this FNX 9 it is uh, made by Freedom Ordnance and I think it's the only uh, nine millimeter that, that I have that has a threaded barrel so that's why I brought this one out here um, however the nine the uh, nine millimeter blanks that I got are a little sketchy I'm not gonna lie I got these off of luckygunner.com when they came in the mail I thought oh crap I don't know if I really want to shoot this because it has these uh, yeah, let's see if I can get the focus it has these like this plastic projectile almost this tip that's uh, made out of plastic so I'm a little worried about firing this thing from my hand so I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, table up and tie down the uh, FNX 9 load one of these in here put a golf ball in and we'll see if the gun blows up Man, it's getting windy out here, but I got everything tied down and I got a blank loaded in there with a, a Glock 26 mag. So I got the uh, string tied on. We're going pretty far back. I'm going to be standing way back at that tree line and uh, possibly behind something as well. So let's go and do this. See what happens. Hopefully my gun won't blow up. Got a fresh new golf ball here. Go and stick this down in here. <laughs> now, I got the uh, table slanted upwards so we can hopefully get a little uh, distance on this 9mm. Let's go and chamber it. Alright, it's ready to go. Let's get the string. I lost track, but man, that went far. All right, let's go. Hey, look at that. Very cool. Look at these blanks. It actually just kind of separated the front of it, but the plastic thing goes shooting out the barrel, which is what I thought would happen. So, you know what that means. Let's go and freehand some of these uh, nine millimeter uh, nine millimeter blanks and uh, we could probably get a good um, gauge on distance with uh, firing a couple more golf balls because I don't know if the camera picked this one up but that went really far I was I was pretty shocked I think it went further than the uh, number four ram set with the 22 pistol so let's uh, let's give these a couple more tries and we'll see what kind of distance we can get from a nine millimeter I got another blank and got another golf ball. So let's go ahead and chamber this. There we go. where I landed. That was probably about um, maybe 180 yards, something like that. Wasn't as long, believe it or not, as the 22 pistol, but definitely still has uh, quite a lot of range. I'm going to actually try and aim a little lower and see if I can get more of a uh, flatter flight path with the uh, another golf ball. So give me one second here. Got another blank. And another golf ball. Hey. 
Yeah, that went further. Let me see here. Let me get the rangefinder. Probably about 200 yards. Yep. Right at 200 yards. All right. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. There was a, a little bit of, um, I guess, curviness to the flight path of the golf ball. I don't know if the camera was able to pick that up, but definitely flew very far with these nine millimeter blanks. All right, so now that we're done with the range testing part of the video, let's go ahead and move on to the fun stuff. Uh, we're gonna be shooting at various objects that I got at Walmart, so let's go and see what kind of damage these golf balls can have. So it's about to be a fiesta, so let's start with some uh, tortilla chips with a hint of lime. Going hot. actually didn't puncture the bag at all. It just blew out the bottom. Not exactly what I expected. <laughs> Let's move on. Take one more one more of these. Two more. Well it's that time of year. Halloween's right around the corner. Let's do some MMs. Take two. Load it up. This time, actually, I'm going to try and go point blank just so I don't miss it. <laughs> Man, this is too much fun. tastes even better after getting obliterated by a uh, golf ball. I was able to retrieve a couple of my uh, golf balls here, but <laughs> look at this. I think it uh, might have blown the golf ball straight through that bag. That was pretty cool. Man, the animals are going to love me today. So I switched over to the 9mm and we're going to be shooting a can of Pringles, sour cream and onion. What has my life become? Oh no, it's a butterfly. Come on Mr. Butterfly, I don't want to hurt you. I saw where this uh, golf ball landed, so I wanted to go retrieve it because I don't have a lot left. Um, I'm kind of losing them in the bushes and the weeds and whatnot. But anyways, I don't know. Probably gonna have to do, the, do this one again. Take two. All right, this one's gonna go a little point blank again. Let's go straight up. <laughs> straight up in front of it here. Oh yeah, forgot to put my hearing protection on. <laughs> I'm 
kind of pulverized <laughs> these chips in here. Look at that. Oh my god. But still delicious. Wonder where that golf ball went. This is the best video ever. I don't think any other video. I get to eat junk food. Alright. Don't want to spoil my dinner. Guess I should clean this off a bit. Dr. Pepper here. All right. Find the hole. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. I blew this thing apart. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely got hit by some sort of ricochet. There's a hole right there where all that came, all the uh, soda came flying out. All right, let's go in. Punch this Hawaiian punch with a golf ball. All right, going hot. <laughs> oh man, nothing happened. It hit pretty uh, center right here. Messed up the label pretty good, but I'm going to try it one more time. Point blank range. I was able to uh, retrieve the golf ball because it bounced just right over there. Man, I'm gonna get a Hawaiian punch all over my gun. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I guess we're not uh, gonna be puncturing the uh, uh, jug of Hawaiian punch here. But, I got something for that. You didn't think I had to go a whole video without shooting real bullets. Oh my gosh, there's a mist of Hawaiian punch. <laughs> oh, that smells amazing. I wish my house smelled like that. So even though I probably know what's about to happen nothing because a uh, watermelon rind is pretty tough and since it couldn't even puncture the jug I'm pretty sure it's just gonna bounce off this uh, the rind of the watermelon but this video wouldn't be complete without at least trying to destroy a watermelon so here we go and we're gonna stick with the nine millimeter um, this golf ball has been used a couple of times and it's just completely burnt on both sides but I'm gonna use it a third time hopefully this watermelon uh, something will happen so yeah, here we go point blank range ear protection probably a face protection too <laughs> that's why I'm shooting at an angle because I don't want it bouncing right back at me oh This video is continuing to surprise me. <laughs> oh man, let me put this down. <laughs> Look at this. If y'all have ever shot a shotgun with, or sorry, if y'all have ever shot a watermelon with like a shotgun or something, it kind of pulverizes the inside of it. And that's kind of what happened here. Like all this stuff is really mushy. So 
<laughs> so that's very cool. I didn't think it was actually going to crack the uh, rind, but it did. It actually blew off a whole chunk of it. Wow. Very cool. Man. Yeah, these golf balls, they do some damage for sure. I definitely would not want to get hit by one of these things. Here's a golf ball right here. <laughs> so I gotta say, this uh, golf ball launcher is pretty cool. I think it's one of the most fun gun accessories you could probably get um, that doesn't require, you know, a, uh, a good reason for it. It's just, <laughs> it's just fun. You know, I'm gonna probably do a couple more videos with it and uh, maybe come up with some other ideas. Um, I actually have an idea of how to play a game of golf with this so uh, stay tuned for that but <laughs> it's it's really cool you can use it with a nine millimeter you can use it with a 22 and um, surprisingly the 22 pistol works better than the 22 rifle and uh, this right here has I believe it's an eight inch barrel but it's definitely uh, the golf ball it's definitely booking it out of this nine millimeter right here too so I would say between the 22 pistol and the nine millimeter the nine millimeter is probably my favorite because I do like using those blanks they're just easier to use and I, I didn't get any that were you know uh, hard to extract or anything like that but yeah like look at all this carnage it actually smells pretty good uh, between the Hawaiian punch the uh, Dr. Pepper and the watermelon it smells pretty good around here, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, the uh, the animals are gonna love coming around here when I pack up uh, here in a couple minutes. But that's all I got for you today. Uh, this has been this has been the cheap eBay pistol golf ball launcher, and I highly recommend it. Don't even think about it; just buy it. Um, yeah. It's a lot of fun.